Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, welcome. My name is Elise, and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my little YouTube family. I'm really bad cold right now, so that is why I'm talking extra funny. I don't actually talk like this. If you're new around here, this is not my normal voice, I swear. Today I wanted to get on here and show you guys how to snatch your pony. Yes, girl. It is definitely slowly but surely turning into my go-to, especially when my hair is on the dirtier side and I kind of want to disguise it. Um, this is definitely what I'm going for. Yeah, you guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful and let's go ahead and get started so I'm actually starting off with week old hair it might be gross to some but my hair is actually naturally really dry so I can get away with working with week old hair so here I'm gonna use my Denman brush that I love I raved about this in my last favorites video it's basically my favorite brush for detangling and taming frizz then I'm just going to take my Numi flat iron and I'm just going to go ahead and run that through my hair like I said my hair is a week old here and it did have some like leftover curls in it so I just want to make sure it's a lot straighter than it was because the ponytail that I'll be using is very straight so I want it to blend with my natural hair as best as possible so as you can see here there's that curl that I was telling you guys about so I just want to make sure it's nice and straight or as straight as I can get it not trying to get it to be perfect but definitely I want it to blend with the ponytail the best that it could I do have a straightening routine for those of you who have really curly hair or are just interested and seeing my blow dry routine I will link it down below for those of you who are interested I'll be working with this eco styler gel this is a super protein one so it's the darker black gel I do like working with this kind of gel when it comes to ponytails because when it dries it dries black and it dries dark which I really really like because this ensures that it won't dry with any white flakes or anything like that which is visible with my hair color so it's just not a cute look so I just like to go with the protein darker gel so what I'm just going to do is slick that back and I'm just going to do a lot of brushing literally you guys you have to brush every single bump out because you want this to be as sleek as possible so just take your time with this make sure you make sure you're brushing everything out really well use a sturdy brush if you have to so just flip your hair upside down make sure you get every bump on the back of your hair really take your time with this um, and just make sure you're really brushing it and making it really smooth when doing this hairstyle, it's really, really important that you're really making sure that when it comes to tying the hair, you're actually really tying it nice and tight just because that's what's going to keep that hair locked. So what I like to do is actually use two hair ties. When I use two hair ties too, that also makes sure that the actual hair itself, the ponytail, my natural ponytail isn't laying too flat against my head because when it lays too flat against my head, it makes it harder for me to be able to see when I'm wrapping the extension around my hair. So you'll see in a second, but as you can see here, it gives it a more lifted look by using two hair ties which I find makes it much easier and also makes it nice and tight so quick overview on the extension that I'll be using it's very beautiful this is actually from Amazon it's really affordable it's less than 15 bucks the hair color matches really well with my actual hair which works perfectly so it has this little comb here which you actually put into your hair to secure it into place it has this extra like extension here for you to wrap around your hair and it's wrapped around with this velcro so you kind of attach it and hide your ponytail so I'm just gonna dig that into my hair and then I'm going to take the extension that it comes with to wrap around the ponytail. And it's that simple. I'm going to wrap it around my hair just to really cover everything up. Don't worry if you kind of mess up your hair. You can always fix that at the end. Right now the key is just to make sure that you're using that hair to really cover up those hair ties. And to really get it to be secured and to make sure that that ponytail is not going to move. And to secure it I'm going to use bobby pins, several of them actually, and just really secure that. And you want to use the bobby pin towards the bottom of the hair. You don't want to do it on the top because that's really going to secure it. So as you can see I'm putting that towards the bottom of the ponytail. Since I was maneuvering it with a little bit, I did kind of mess up the front like I said, but you can always go ahead and fix that at the end. I'm just taking a little bit extra gel and then I'm just going to take this little toothbrush. Toothbrushes are an absolute must, especially when it comes to making sure that your edges are laid and your baby hairs are on point. Now I'm just going to take some edge control and really make sure that those baby hairs are laid because we ain't got time for those edges to be looking crazy. Really quick I did want to show you guys how I do cover up some balding that I have in the front of my head as you can see I have some sparse areas what I do is I just take any eyebrow powder that I have I'm taking this one by the brow gal and I'm taking this middle shade which is a medium light brown I like to use something that's at least two shades lighter than my actual hair color because that allows me to actually build it and get it to look nice but in a very gradual way where it's not too harsh but really I just go in with a brush and just be very gentle with it and that's really all that I do to really fill in my hairline to secure everything in place, I'm just going to take some hairspray and be very generous with this just to make sure that nothing's going to move. It's going to give me some extra hold. 
And last but not least, totally optional, but what I like to do is take some hair serum to give my actual hair some extra shine so it can blend with the ponytail better. And that's it, you guys. So you guys, that's pretty much going to complete this hair tutorial. I really hope you guys found it helpful and you guys enjoyed it. If you try out this hair tutorial and you post it on social media, please don't forget to tag me. I will leave all my socials down below and on the end slate of this video. So please tag me so I can see how yours turned out. I would love to see it. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or any general feedback, please don't forget to leave it in the comments down below. I love to see what you guys have to say. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.